Eric Lenask here on the road with TMCNet. We are in San Jose, California this week. And I'm talking with uh, Jay Botello. He's the VP of Product Management at Wild Packets. Jay, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much, Eric. Thanks for having us. So uh, when it comes to network monitoring, uh, a lot of companies kind of do it and do it in a, in a reasonably efficient way, but they don't necessarily get the complete picture. What's Wild Packets talking about that's a sort of... Uh, promotes doing it a little bit differently. That's absolutely right. So, you know, today everyone's doing network analysis and network monitoring. Uh, you need to do that on these big networks, anything from a small company to a large company. Um, but today people are using um, technologies that don't give them all the data they need. They might be using SNMP, a very old way of doing network uh, analysis and monitoring, or a more modern way using flow-based like NetFlow, uh, to Cisco routers or SFlow. But even there, you're not getting the full picture. Uh, what we're promoting is using packet-based analysis. And that's where uh, Wild Packets cut its teeth. We've been doing that for 22 years. And what we find is eventually anybody that's doing network analysis and network monitoring, eventually they need to troubleshoot. And when they need to troubleshoot, they don't have enough data with that flow-based data. So they come to Wild Packets and they buy a packet-based solution to do troubleshooting. And now they've duplicated basically a capability on the network that they could have uh, solved with just packet-based. Because you can use packet-based analysis to do the reporting and the monitoring as well. And then you always have all the data that you need. So what's changed? Why haven't people been using uh, packet-based monitoring? Well, I think people have always seen it maybe as being a, a, you know, a little bit of an expense. People look at NetFlow as free, right, because it's off the router. Mm -hmm. But it also isn't free because you're taxing the router, number one, by when you, when you turn on NetFlow. Um, and in many cases, you're losing some of your data when you do that because if the router gets very busy, the one thing it's going to do is it's going to slow down or even stop doing the, the flow-based reporting, and it's going to route packets. That's what it's designed to do. So even though that seems free out of a router, um, it, it's really necessarily not free. Uh, with packet-based, there is an expense of buying an appliance uh, to put in the network, but in the end, when you need to troubleshoot, you end up needing to buy that capability anyway. So really, in the end, by going packet-based, it's a cost savings because you're going to eventually get to that level and put those appliances in the network. Why not put them in now and use them for monitoring as well and take the load off your NetFlow switches? So what's the trade-off then? So if you're collecting all this additional data, you've got to store it somewhere, you've got to maintain it, right? Right. So, but that all comes out of the same appliance. So a single appliance out there, uh, we have an appliance called Timeline, uh, when they introduced about three years ago. And Timeline collects uh, data at uh, well over 10 gigabits per second on the network. So you can have a, you know, the fastest backbone out there. You connect a Timeline appliance. Um, it's configured to be able to store up to 48 terabytes of data. Uh, so you can archive each and every one of the packets going across the network. Um, it's great for uh, faults that might happen on a weekend. Uh, maybe something happens on a Saturday night and the network engineer gets a page, realizes it's not terribly urgent, but wants to go back on Monday morning and see what happened. He's got a complete recording of all of the transactions that happened uh, throughout the, throughout the uh, weekend. So you can come back on a Saturday night, uh, drill in on exactly that period of time, and see exactly what was happening on the network. Uh, it's also great for security types of things. As, as uh, people often say, security is just another network issue. Uh, so if there was a, a breach or a suspected breach, you have a complete recording of everything that happened. So you can answer all those critical questions like who was it, you know, when did they come in, where did they go, you know, what did they do, did they take anything with them, is anything left behind? All that can be addressed because you're doing packet-based uh, analysis. How does it change the situation or does it change the situation uh, as more and more businesses are combining different types of network, they're combining their uh, uh, on-premises, their local networks uh, with cloud-based networks and, and, and so on. How does that change what they have to do in terms of analysis and monitoring? Right, it really, it really doesn't change uh, too much. Um, if anything, it, it increases the need because one of the things that we're finding is as people go cloud, uh, some of the things that are changing are things like network latencies. Um, and they're increasing because they're, they're going further out to gain access uh, to, to that data. Uh, what might have been you know, mostly all local, uh, maybe their, uh, um, their operation staff was in the same building as the data center that was hosting the, you know, the invoicing applications in the database. Latencies were very, very low. Now they farm that out to, to Amazon, for example, and they're on the East Coast, and you know, you're going back to, uh, to Washington to get that data. There's increased latencies. And Amazon's not necessarily going to report that to you. Uh, they may not even see that. You need to know that from your own end. So just as you would have uh, monitored your applications before in-house, you want to monitor those, that same, those same applications, but you, you, know, you just want to be able, now you're really monitoring your cloud-based service.
Excellent. Sounds like a logical approach. Yeah. Jay, thank you so much for joining us here on the TMC Roadshow in San Jose. Eric, thanks for having me.